Do it again, please. I'm not quite sure what other way there is to say no walnuts in the salad except to say no walnuts in the salad. Mom, she just made a mistake. She doesn't listen. She doesn't care. She has no work ethic. She has some work ethic. You made her remake the salad four times. I like things done correctly. Preferably the first time. Thank you, Richard. Mm. You know, Mom, in Europe, th they eat the salad last and the main course first. We're not in Europe. We could pretend. Really, Lorelai, you can't wait 10 minutes for another salad. The situation's that dire. Four salads ago, no, not dire. Right now, it's your money for nothing and your chicks for free. Rory? She didn't have lunch. Fine. Where are you going? Apparently, we're going to be European tonight. Oh, wonderful. I was getting so tired of being American day after day after day. Oh, God, I'm starved. Think about something else. Like what? Something disgusting that will take your appetite away. Ari Fleischer? Ari Fleischer's our nation's mouthpiece, young lady. Officially not hungry now. Liliana will be right out with the sand dabs. I'm afraid we're going to have to let it go, Richard. Oh. If that's how you feel, Emily. You're firing someone over putting walnuts in a salad? I'm going to fire someone over putting walnuts in a salad after she was told not to put walnuts in the salad. Mom, you know, if you're not a little nicer to your help, you might find yourself in a Frank Lloyd Wright situation. Frank Lloyd Wright? What on earth does Frank Lloyd Wright have to do with my salad? And your walnuts. Mrs. Wright apparently had this major problem with her help. She was very rough on them and they totally hated her. So this guy who had worked for her forever, he had finally had enough. I believe the incident was over walnuts, wasn't it, honey? The exact cause has not been proven. Anyhow, Mrs. Wright invites this whole posse of people over for dinner, and they're all sitting around eating, and Mr. Disgruntled Servant Guy goes outside and locks all the doors and windows and douses the whole house in gasoline and sets the place on fire. My goodness. So the house is on fire, and, and people are freaking out, so they run to the doors, but the doors are locked. So a few of them try to uh, get out through the windows, but, but, but Mr. Angry Puss is, is standing outside with an ax hacking them to death, and so they all died. Why on earth would you tell me that story? All I'm saying is, sometimes eating a walnut is preferable to getting hacked to death or set on fire during dinner. One of these days, I'm going to make you eat it in your room. I'm going to go get myself another soda. Would anyone else like something? I'd like a big bag of walnuts and make sure you tell her they're for me. I believe I need a little more ice. Emily, are you fine? Yes, Richard, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, stop that. Did you find it? Yes, I did. Good, good. Ah, here we are. Ice. And <laughs> chocolates. Bless you. So, tell me, how's it going at school? It's good. It's crazy. Hmm, senior year. Yep. Preparing for college can be a daunting task. I remember when I was preparing for Yale. Bad? I don't believe I slept the entire year. I didn't even cut my hair for two months. Grandpa. Oh, yes, it was quite a scandal. But in the end, it was all worth it. Yeah? My years at Yale were absolutely the most gratifying ones of my life. Just the sheer freedom of knowing that anything I wanted to learn, I could learn right there. Plus the history of the place, the, the heritage. My father went to Yale. I know. I also made wonderful friends there, friends I still have today. That must be nice. I'm going to be going back there next week. There's going to be a little reunion of the Whiffenpoofs. I'm sorry, the what? It's an a cappella singing group I belong to at Yale. A singing group? A very famous singing group, actually, like the Beatles, but with better table manners. I've never heard you sing. Well, I am no Perry Como, but my shower hasn't kicked me out yet. Anyway, the group of us are going to get together at the old alma mater and have a little dinner, swap some war stories. Sounds fun. Excuse me. Oh, did you see what I just saw? Walnuts. Poor Grandma. <laughs> Poor us. You know, you might uh, want to come with me next week. Come with you where? To Yale. What? Oh, I don't mean the dinner. That would be boring for you, but you might enjoy seeing the school. Well... Your mother could come, too. It would be a fun little adventure. Wow. We could drive down, have a little roadside snack at there about noon, have a little tour, and then... The two of you girls could go off and have fun, and the old folks could have a somber little dinner. I think you'd love to see it. I certainly would love to show it to you. Well, sure, Grandpa. That would be nice. Wonderful. Oh, I'm thrilled. Uh, do you want to tell your mother, or shall I? Oh, you know what? I can tell her. All right, you tell her. Looks like we're going to need a few more of these. Yeah. 